And he is Milt Lady, White Township Manager, joining us here this morning. We've got uh, a lot to do with Milt here this morning, and uh, included among them uh, something we really don't want to do, and that is say goodbye to Milt Lady. Um, but uh, we'll get to that in just a couple of moments. There are some other things, though, uh, that we want to talk about with him this morning. Milt, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Todd. I'm doing fine, thank you. Well, that's good to know. It's good yeah. to know. As, uh, I just this is the season. For what? <laughs> forgiving uh it is yes. it is and, and it we're is. glad that you've uh, given your time to us here today and uh as i said we'll get to uh um your plans announcement here in in just a couple of moments but milt there's a lot going on within the township entering into this winter season uh, i've had to endure some weather situations uh and and have done so greatly i mean uh, no problems right yeah yeah the the winter weather hasn't arrived quite yet so uh they, we're saving salt we're saving gas saving overtime so that's a good thing for the township pocketbook but um certainly uh the wind storms we've had recently have uh brought brought some clean up work out on the roads and streets mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. um but otherwise you know the road guys are getting prepared for the winter that's coming and yeah. doing maintenance on equipment. And the guys that look underneath the roads, well, they get a little bit of extra time to check out that situation, don't they? Yeah, yeah. The weather's been great there. Uh, they've been inspecting manholes, uh, doing camera work. Um, that allows us to plan our work schedule for next year as part of our corrective action plan to uh, help help our infiltration issues um, also, uh, the stormwater project up in Chevy Chase, phase mm-hmm. three is moving along. I think it's around 70% complete. Going to get it done by the end of the year? Uh, that's what the contract calls for. Oh yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it'll be close, but, uh, they're working pretty hard right now. To that's the done. one where they're putting the, uh, the, the pipe inside the pipe, right? No, 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 no this that's... is their re- this is a complete replacement of the oh, pipes okay. and new inlet basins. Uh, there's another project where we are doing cured in place, mm-hmm. uh, PVC piping. Uh, they've had trouble getting the material, but they were to mobilize today. Mm-hmm. Um, and they should be starting in a day or two. Um, they just, we were hoping to have that done two months ago, but as everybody knows, the material supply issues, um, delayed their starting that project. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 you're not the only one. Oh, so. <laughs> everybody's in the same boat. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's sure. something else uh, that uh, we, as I talked to that expert yesterday from uh, Pittsburgh, he said, uh, yeah, they did not predict this. Uh, yeah. He was the supply side government guy. And he said, nobody was able to predict this was coming, which is kind of scary. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It always seems like there's something up there raring to bite us. Yeah. 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 So those are some things that you're able to do out and about that maybe the weather has allowed uh, you to do it at least a little bit more uh, easily or handily. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, indoors at the White Township Recreation Complex at the S&T Bank Arena, things are going on well there, too. Yeah, it's a busy time of the season. Everybody's playing hockey, skating, using the turf arena. Um, we got a uh, skate with Santa coming up this weekend uh, mm-hmm. for families. Uh, on Saturday, it's two to four, and Sunday's one to three. Mm-hmm. You can meet and greet the red guy, red jolly guy. Um, he is a big Santa, let me tell you. And, oh, he yeah? can, and he can skate. He's a skater, huh? He is a skater. So well, one would think you'd live in the North Pole, you'd have to be a skater. Yeah, well, yeah, you think a lot of shoveling the snow off. But, <laughs> but, uh, well, yeah, he's got so, elves to do that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good point. So the elves clear off the ice, and then he goes out for a skate. And he so he's going to be here, what, 2 to 4, both Saturday and Sunday? Uh, Saturday, 2 to 4, Sunday, 1 to 3. Sunday, 1 to 3. Yeah, yeah. so bring the kids out. Yeah. It, it's a jolly good time. You know, that's you raise a point there that uh, maybe as many people as should be aware of this are not, but uh, skating uh, is, is a great activity. It's a family activity. And you can do it right here in Indiana County, and it's a top-notch facility. It is. You can uh, have a great family outing. Uh, it's not cost prohibitive. Um, it's a long. You can do it for a lifetime. Uh, it's a, it's a great activity to get involved with, with your yeah. kids. Now, if people are wondering about the schedule of when skating will be offered, what's the best way for them to find that information out? Uh, the website, uh, the whitetownship dot org slash rec. Mm-hmm. website is very good they keep that up to date their schedules on their news 
I think most people, though, the fa- their, their Facebook page is probably the best mm-hmm. uh, opportunity to, to uh, get and see what activities are going on. Yeah. You can also get on their email list if you ask to uh, be put on that. Yeah. And they put out they put out at least once a week activities going on. Inside the S&T Bank Arena, ice skating is not the only thing that you can do. Correct? Oh, no. No, yeah. turf side. Uh, they just put up new batting cages. Mm-hmm. Um, one, one is for baseball and the other one, I'm not sure is up and running yet, but is also for softball. Yeah. So, uh, they got turf. You can play tennis. You can do birthday parties out there, play, uh, football or soccer. So, uh, yeah, lots of things besides just ice skating. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So some other things that are happening out there, um, you've got planning commission tonight, correct? That's correct. There's uh, one final site plan up for approval. Mm-hmm. And supervisors meeting tomorrow night. Tomorrow evening, evening. S- seven thirty. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. And we'll we'll be looking at our 2022 budget. I expect us to adopt that. Um, again, uh, as we're proud to say, no property tax or fee increases this year. Um, our total expenses are projected to be about. Ten million two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Going to look uh, at a couple of ordinances too. Yes, uh, several ordinances. We are um, that's a requirement uh, as part of government to obtain a loan from S and T Bank for our sewer extension project mm-hmm. out on Airport Road. Okay. Yep. Okay. Anything else going to be happening that you're aware of? At uh, the I don't meeting? think so. Okay. No. All right. Terrific. So all of that is going on. And uh, now we got to talk about uh, something that I didn't want to talk about today. Uh, and that is, um, uh, you're going to say goodbye. You're retiring, huh? I am. This is my last radio interview with you. I, uh, I hope my predecessor will uh, c- continue the tradition that mm-hmm. we've had for several years. But uh, I am, I do turn 65. So I'm Anxious to take retirement and move on to my next stage of life. Yeah. Has, has the successor been named yet? Uh, he'll be named at the reorganization. He or she will be mm-hmm. named at the reorganization meeting. Oh, which, yes. is, which is? Which is January 3rd. January 3rd. That's Monday. Yes. Okay. Right. But I think we're in line. I think uh, we've, we've set up our organization that, mm-hmm. that the uh, uh, transition should be pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. I don't see any glitches. So you've been doing this particular job as the manager for a number of years, but you've been with White White Township a lot longer than that. Yes, I've been here almost 25 years. Uh, April would be 25. Um, I started out as a project manager uh, responsible for build out of the recreation complex, hiring contractors, overseeing the design, Mm -hmm. bidding, doing contracts, all that. Um, so I was there till like '05, and then we purchased the uh, the ice arena, now the S and T Bank Arena, mm-hmm. and I helped manage that, get that back to a sustainable facility, um, which it is, has been for the last many years. Um, we are proud of the fact that it is a um, uh, financially sound facility. Uh, we don't uh, want to put lose any money with it, so it is a break even project and we've been able to put in capital improvements which i'm really proud of Mm -hmm. uh the fact that we've upgraded that facility substantially uh with new concrete floor new refrigeration energy efficiency and all that so before you worked for white township um you had a pretty long career in in the power industry didn't you i did i uh started out um with babcock and wilcox as um, a draftsman, really. Went mm-hmm. to night school, um, got my engineering degree, and uh, started traveling, starting up power plants um, and paper mills um, throughout the East Coast. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I moved up here to this area, um, bought my first house here, and started working at the Homer City Power Plant. Yeah. And worked there for almost 12 years. And... Finished up at Bechtel Engineering down in Maryland for about a year, um, and then I had the opportunity to join White Township back in 1997. You got to come home. I did. Yes, <laughs> that was much, much, uh, much uh, anxious about being home. Finally, mm-hmm. yeah. 
down through the years, of course, uh, you have worked with a lot of people, and, and I know that uh, you would uh, uh, you would uh, think about them when you got to retirement years, and uh, and uh, and you've just uh, you've been one of the great folks that we've ever worked with. Uh, but I know that you have a lot of people you'd like to thank, wouldn't you? Oh yes, um, you know, former board of supervisors that have have uh, worked passed away. Um, they were always great to work with, Mm -hmm. uh, the current board, uh, I wish them the best and their future work. Uh, but my employees and staff, obviously they are, um, they're why I was successful, you know, without them, uh, I wouldn't have done the job I did. Um, they, I could count on them to do what they needed. Um, just, just the confidence that I knew the job was being done right. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm very very appreciative of my staff and employees and the community leaders and, and the residents of this great township. Um, they've all, they've all been wonderful to work with. I've gotten to know a lot of, a lot of people while I've been here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I really want to shout out to everybody that's been uh, supportive of me and worked with me and, uh, a lot of great, a lot of great leaders around here. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to miss that for sure. Um, folks are going to wonder, uh, what are you doing, Milt, with the rest of your time? You're just going to start uh, fishing for a living? Uh, (laughs) No, I'm not really a fisherman. I actually played my last official hockey game on Sunday, so I guess I'm retiring from that that also. (laughs) Um, That's that's a little rough for me to comprehend, but uh, um, no, my family, um, they've traveled all over the world. I've been to places I would have never dreamed of, but uh, I do have a son in New Zealand, so I plan to be going there a few times to visit. Yeah. I've been there once, um, but I want to go back. Um, my daughter from England is, is living in England, is on the plane right now flying to the U.S., um, oh, yeah. and they're moving here. So really, we're excited about that. Now I, they're going to live in North Carolina, so I think that's where we're probably headed. North Carolina. Is to join... She has four grand. I have four grandchildren there with her, uh-huh. so we're excited about that. And my other son's in Portland, so yeah. I see traveling is on, still on the horizon. You are scattered, aren't you? I will be. Yes. You're going to get to see those grandkids, though. That's yeah. I, I'm excited about that. I would guess my wife and I are both thrilled that they're coming back to the U.S. Well, Milt, it has been our pleasure to work with you down through the years. You have never been anything less than a gentleman, always good, always cooperative, um, and very, very helpful to us, and we appreciate it. Well, thank you, Todd. I appreciate that, and uh, it's been fine working with you. I had a great time doing this radio talk show, and um, I wish the whole community the best in the future. You think they've got uh, hockey in in North Carolina for you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's some in Charlotte. I don't know. Might uh, have to find that old man's leg again. There you go. There you go. <laughs> He's Milt Lady, White Township Manager. Best of luck in your retirement. Thank you, Todd. Our best wishes to you. It is the voice of Indiana County WCCS. County WCCS. County.